Female athletes are two to eight times more likely to tear their ACL compared to their male counterpart. But why? What is it about the female body, the anatomy, the biomechanics, or even hormonal changes that makes it so much more common in female athletes? So first let's talk about anatomical differences. The first anatomical difference that we see is generally females have a wider pelvis than males. A wider pelvis increases what's called the Q angle or the quadriceps angle. This wider Q angle in the female athlete will absolutely affect the tracking of the knee when a female athlete goes to jump, land, or cut. Secondly, we have the intercondylar notch. This is the notch or tunnel in which the ACL sits inside the joint. Studies have shown that the intercondylar notch in the female athlete tends to be a little bit more narrow. And the more narrow the tunnel is, the less movement there is for the ACL to, to occur during these high level movements, which may predispose the female athlete to more impingement and tearing on the ACL. And lastly, the third thing that we talk about anatomically is ligamentous laxity. Ligamentous laxity just refers to what we consider to be like the looseness or flexibility of the ligament. The next major risk factor that I wanna talk about is what we call biomechanics, or the way in which the body moves. Studies have shown that when females land, there tends to be less knee flexion and an increase in knee valgus. This change in biomechanics when a female athlete decelerates or lands actually changes the force or the absorption of the musculature within the joint or surrounding the knee, which then predisposes that female athlete to strain certain areas of the knee compared to males. Another key biomechanical difference that we see is hip and core control. So the differences between males and females is we've seen studies that have shown that there's less hip and glute activation when a female athlete cuts or moves laterally than the male counterpart. So thirdly, we have hormonal differences. So we know from research that estrogen plays a role in, in ligamentous laxity, particularly when estrogen is at its peak, ligaments are actually more susceptible to stretching and tearing. And certain studies have shown that there's a significant higher likelihood of tearing during that time period. Last Lastly, one of the biggest and most modifiable risk factors is neuromuscular control. 